Let h be the vertical distance between the graphs of f and g in region s. Find the rate at which h changes with respect to x when x is equal to 1.8. So we have region s right over here. You can't see it that well since I drew over it. And what you see in region, when we're in region s, the function f is greater than the function g. It's above the function g. And so we can write h of x. We could write h of x as being equal to f of x minus g of x. And what we want to do is we want to find the rate at which h changes with respect to x. And so we could write that as h prime of, we could say h prime of x, but we want the rate when x is equal to 1.8. So h prime of 1.8 is what we want to figure out. Now we could evaluate f prime of 1.8 and g prime of 1.8, and to do that we would take the derivatives of each of these things, and we know how to do that. It's, it's within our capabilities. But it's important to realize when you're taking the AP test that you have a calculator at your disposal. And a calculator can numerically in, uh, integrate and it can numerically uh, evaluate derivatives. And so whenever they're, they actually want us to find the area or evaluate an integral where they give the endpoints or evaluate a derivative at a point, well, that's a pretty good sign that you could probably use your calculator here. And what's extra good about this is we have already essentially inputted h of x in the previous steps, and really in part a. I had defined this function here, and this function is essentially h of x. I, have the, I took the absolute value of it, so it's always positive over either region. But I could delete the absolute value if we want. So let me delete that absolute value, then I have to get rid of that parentheses at the end. So let me delete that. And so notice, this is h of x. We have our f of x, which is 1 plus x plus e to the x squared minus 2x. And then we, from that, we subtract g of x. So we have g of x was a positive x to the fourth, but we're subtracting. So negative x to the fourth. Let me show you g of x right over here. g of x is right over here. And notice, we are subtracting it. So the y1, as I've defined it in my calculator, and I just press this y equals button right over here, that is my h of x. And so now I can go back to the other screen, and I can evaluate its derivative when x is equal to 1.8. I go to math. I scroll down. We have n derivative right here. And so click Enter there. And then what am I going to take the derivative of? Well, the function y sub 1 that I've already defined in my calculator. I can go to variables, y variables. It's already selected function, so I'll just press Enter. And I'll select the function y sub 1 that I've already defined. So I'm taking the derivative of y sub 1. I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. And I'm going to evaluate that derivative when x is equal to 1.8. That simple. And then I click Enter. And there you have it. It's approximately negative 3.812. So approximately negative 3.812. And, and we're done. And you know one thing that you might appreciate from this entire question, and even the, the question one, is they, they really want to make sure that you understand the underlying conceptual ideas behind derivatives and integrals. And if you understand the conceptual ideas of how do you use them to solve problems, uh, and you have your calculator at disposal, that these are not too hairy, that these can be done fairly, fairly quickly.